the best way to describe Qbox, it would be like Dropbox, but for QuickBooks files, only without the conflicted copies. And I got this graphic from, from my friend Sarah Laidlaw, who uses this to kind of explain to the clients how they, how they work. And, and, and she describes Qbox as a traffic cop. Okay, we have two computers and we have a cloud copy of the version. And depending on who's working, the traffic cop stops the other person from accessing QuickBooks while the other person is doing stuff. When one person's done, the traffic cop locks the file, stops the accountants, and sends it back to the customer so the customer can use it. I, I think it's a good explanation. We're going to show a, a live demonstration, Chris and I, of how that works. And I think once you look at the live demonstration, it will make all the sense in the world. Now, quick bullet points here. Qbox is $12 a month per folder. Now, a folder can have multiple QuickBooks files, but you never want to have multiple clients in one folder because, you know, the, the folder is what syncs. So essentially, it's $12 a month per client, although a client can have multiple company files. The sync... Uh, can give you unlimited desktop files and, and other documents like PDF, uh, JPEG, Word, Excel, that sort of thing, up to 10 gigabytes of storage. You can, you will, everybody will work locally in QuickBooks. That means that the file will copy completely into your side. So internet speed doesn't really matter while you're working or functioning. So you're working locally, and then once you finish, the file gets sent over. So whoever's next, it's not only, only for two people working, you can have multiple people, five, six people, all remote, working remotely. And whoever has the file, everybody's pretty much locked out. But the good thing about that is you don't get those lags based on internet speed of working remotely, okay? And one of the great things about it is you have a client that uses Pro or Premiere and you have Accountant Edition in your computer, you will have all the tools, all the amazing tools that the Accountant Edition of QuickBooks has. Now, if your client has enterprise, you would have to have enterprise on your side as well. So that's actually also really important. Pro Premier and Accountant, they're all uh, compatible with each other, but enterprise is only compatible with enterprise. And there's also this notion of always on backup. So because you're always copying the file to the cloud, to Qbox, which is the intermediary between the two or more users, you always have a backup. So there's no need to do actual backups, although it's always recommended to do backups anyway, but there's technically no need for it. And there's 20 versions backed up on the cloud. So you can go back 20, you know, 20 versions ago of that file before it was changed. Now, 20 versions doesn't mean 20 days and it doesn't mean 20 backups. It means 20 times that somebody uh, locked the file and released the file uh, and made changes. Each, one, each of it will be a, a revision. Chris, did I miss anything important? Uh, I'm, actually, I'm just sitting here enjoying it. You did an awesome job. You hit everything just right. So, All right, good. Great explanation. Good, thank you. So now let's talk about the caveat. So I'm, I'm giving you the good. Now let me tell you the bad. And Chris, I'm sorry. I got to tell you <laughs> like it is. Okay, when when you lock the file, um, well, so when you lock the file, no one else can access the QuickBooks file. Now they could, they could access a view only, but the problem is that almost no QuickBooks user is ever satisfied with the notion that they're view only. They always want to touch something. So, so that's gonna, so it's gonna be like a traffic cup, right? You're not gonna have a multi, a true multi-user experience with a remote user with QBox. If you want a true multi-user experience, then you have to go with remote uh, desktop, right networks, something like that. So that's also, also really important. The other piece is if somebody has QuickBooks open and they forget to close it. You know, that file's locked. I, I don't know what, I'll, I'll let Chris talk about if there's any solutions around that. But if somebody goes to lunch and leaves the QuickBooks file open, you know, QBox doesn't know if that person's looking at reports for an hour or having lunch. So the file's still locked, okay? You have to have a license of QuickBooks installed in every computer that's, uh, you know, that, that's working with QBox. Whereas if you were working remotely, you would only need that one license that's on, on that computer. And they all have to be on the same year version and they also have to be have to be on the same update. Okay, so that's another really important uh, piece. And users cannot see what the other person's doing. Now you could you could see on the audit trail who did what, uh, 
but this is definitely not a solution for live training or live support. This is a solution for folks that that uh, that agree to work on the QuickBooks file in different times. Now, I did an informal poll in July of 2017, and then an informal poll in March 14, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, a week ago. Um, in the and we have over 50 answers here. So we had six, uh, nine months ago, the majority of people were using TeamViewer, and then the second one was QBox, and then today or recently, mo- most of the QB Power Hour crowd, the majority, the pr- plurality anyway, is using QBox. So that's actually pretty awesome. So this is a testament of how good the app is. I wouldn't be here talking great about it if the community didn't agree with me. Okay, so let's, um, uh, Chris, let's go ahead and show a demo of that. So let me show you, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my screen. Okay, so I have Q, I have QBox installed in my computer. And then once, uh, and, and I'm gonna, let's say that I'm the customer, I'm the client, I'm not the accountant. You know, in, in the QBox world, it doesn't matter who the customer and who the accountant is, the experience is identical. I mean, the only difference is the accountant is managing multiple customers and the accountant is probably paying for the QBox account, but the experience is identical. So this window here is crucial. This is called the QBox Explorer. And what you see here is called the shared folder. So this folder here called um, Hector's Happy Hamburgers is our shared folder and there are subfolders under it. Inside of this shared folder, you see the QuickBooks file called Hector's Hamburgers. And then here, this is actually a really important piece of this whole thing, you see sync. Now sync, that little checkbox means that the file is currently on the cloud, QBox has it, and no one really is actively opening the file and no one has locked the file. For me to access this file, all I have to do, whether I'm the accountant or the end user, is double click on the file. It will launch QuickBooks automatically automatically and we'll wait for the magic question here let's see okay so i'm going to put the password in so i'm going to go to put the passwords four five six pound and hit okay Okay. And I, I currently, I just launched the file and it gives me the magic question here, which says, do you want to lock Hector's Hamburgers Financials? Okay, Hector's ha- Hamburgers Financial can be modified only if locked. This is telling me that if I am going to go into QuickBooks and do anything that's adding or changing, I have to lock it. Otherwise, if I don't lock it, anything that I do will not be saved to QBox to be available to other users. So in this case, I have to say, yes, this is the one thing um, that you would have to um, train your client to say, yeah, you want to say yes each time. So then it says the file has been locked, right? So I'm gonna go back into my QBox Explorer here and show you what that looks like. And this will say locked. And you see that little lock and it's telling you which of the users, that's me, is currently on the file. So if, if we were looking at this from the perspective of the accounting professional or, or on Chris's side, uh, you would see here, actually, Chris, is yours up and running? Can we, can we switch over? Yeah, to it is. yeah let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, it is actually. I just pulled it up. So if you want to switch over, I can show you on my screen let that me, I'm giving that message. Let me give you presenter access. Hit OK. Go ahead and share your screen, please. OK. And this is high tech stuff. <laughs> we're, we're switching <laughs> back and forth and go to webinar, which is kind of a, a pain. But um, I think it's very contextual. Okay, so that's Chris's computer. So the, the blue background is Chris's computer. Let's call Chris the accountant. And Chris it can see multiple customers. He's got ground floor construction, Hector's Happy Hamburger, JNK. These are all the customers that he supports remotely via QBox. And then he can see right there that the company file is locked and who is using it, okay? So let me um, let, let me switch back to me, Chris. Okay. Make me a presenter again. And then I'm gonna do something, uh, let me show my screen. 
Okay, I think you can see my screen now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new transaction. It will be very unique. So I'm gonna go to create invoices. I'm gonna create a new customer called QB Power Hour plus Q box. Okay, so I'm creating basically new new content here. And I'm gonna just pick an item at random here and say and make this twelve thousand dollars okay so i'm creating a new invoice dated today for twelve thousand dollars to this customer qb power hour uh, plus q box if chris were to go right now before i close this file and open the quickbooks file even even after i hit save and open the quickbooks file in view only mode he's not going to see this he needs to wait until i'm finished close out of the file so it syncs and he opens it on his side so i'm going to go ahead and close the file I'm gonna to go to close company. And then while we close the company, we're gonna go back into a uh, QBox here. And QBox is basically, um, it hasn't done syncing yet. So it's working on uh, doing the sync. Now, Chris, is there a, a place where you can, uh, you can see the progress of that sync or, or not? Yeah, yet? it actually, it'll, it'll appear at the bottom. Uh, it usually takes QBox about three to five seconds. There it goes to acknowledge the file's been closed. Yep. And you'll see at the bottom of your Explorer, it's giving you the percentage of sync. Uh, oh yeah, there it is, it's, uh, 80% done. Okay, it was just a little, okay. So now it says it's 100% done. You're gonna see that little um, sync icon. It goes back into a checkbox. It's not locked anymore. So I'll switch it back uh, to Chris <laughs> again. <laughs> So Chris, uh, go ahead okay. and open the file and see and if that's kind of, it just started to sink down on my side. So um, you're just seeing that process initialized. Yeah. And you can see on my side now, the locks disappeared also and the cue box is showing that I'm also now in sync in just a second here. Uh, and I can actually, if you like, I can open up the file and show you that particular yeah. item. Well, that's exactly okay. what I want you to do, please. So open okay. up the file and, um, and show, show us how the invoice has been updated. Now, Chris and I were discussing, hey, does this, is this, is this something we're going to be able to pull off to show a live? And we said, look, if it doesn't, hopefully people get it, but this is going pretty smooth. So thank you for, yeah. thank you, the gods of webinars for being with <laughs> um, So yeah, a couple uh, of things I was going to. I was going to mention to you, Hector, too, um, if somebody, the, the default setting when it's installed is the manual uh, locking, which asks you that yes or no question, yes or no question. In each user's settings, they can actually change it to auto auto lock if they want. So it doesn't even ask that question. If they have a client they're concerned won't remember that process, um, they can switch it over to auto lock. Oh, what, why do you do that? Can you, can you show us that real quick? Yeah, in settings here. Yeah. Um, in the lock mode, the default ah, is yeah. manual. You can take it to auto. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's actually perfect. Perfect. Okay. So it's going to open up the file that I was just working on. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, a, this is a really good question. If you have multiple versions of QuickBooks installed, let's say 2016, 2017, 2018, will they know which one, which one to open? Uh, it, it does, as long as another version is not already open. You know, that's okay. kind of a that's, a that's a file characteristic. So as long as no other version is open, the file itself will identify the appropriate version to sure. access. Uh, but if, a, if, if maybe this is an 18 file, if I had 16 open, it would actually give me a message saying, hey, it looks like there's a problem here. Right. Um, same pro processes and practices of any other local file that right. you're opening. So, so you can still open the file straight from QuickBooks without double clicking on the QBox Explorer. Uh, yeah, you can actually. So a lot of our financial professionals prefer to open it from QuickBooks. We just tell them, you know, it's important you make sure you're opening the right instance and you get the lock request. Right, but it, it'll work the same way if they open it directly from QuickBooks. That's a really good point. So check, see if my invoice came in. Okay. I'm going to go to create and I'll just do backwards here. Yeah, that should be there. There it, it is. is. There it is. So it's that's it. That's the whole demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty pretty simple. So now we're gonna assume that we're gonna have a whole bunch of questions now. What I'm gonna do is because we did this much faster. Uh, I mean, this is actually really quick. I actually took screenshots of of what the whole process looks like on the client side when they're doing the installation because I know a lot of the things that I have anxiety for. Anytime I work with like a new app or something like that is, hey, is this going to be a pain in the butt, you know, from 
you know, from what the client needs to do. So this is what, this is what, the, this is what it looks like from the client's perspective, assuming that you are the one that creates the QBox account. Maybe you're the one that's paying for it and you're going to invite your client to it. So first they get an email and they're going to click on set up an account. They're going to get a temporary password. They're going to set up their permanent password. They're going to download the installer. They're going to complete the installation. It's going to ask them, you know, where, where in the computer would you like the QBox folder to be installed? Pretty much the same way that Dropbox works. Then you're going to get the, the QBox Explorer. And within a few minutes, the file will instantly download uh, in their operating system where Quick, uh, QuickBooks is installed. And the client could also log into the portal to the web-based portal if they want to see sync history or download the files manually, that sort of thing. 